Every season, the latest look takes centre stage. Whether it's a one-of-a-kind creation or something designed for a major chain, fashion is big business. The fashion industry is the second biggest polluter in the world, so it's damaging on all fronts. We need to innovate and to stop thinking about clothes at end of life as waste and start thinking about clothes at end of life as resource. In the past, we've thought more in a linear way. There's the product purchased, uh, it's then used by a single person and then finds its way into landfill. The charity sector, I think, has put an extra couple of loops in that process. Perhaps several people might wear the garment before it then finds its way to landfill. Your local op shop is playing a big part in keeping tonnes of clothes out of landfill. The second hand economy is growing faster than the new economy. Ooh, that's like Necklines. sleazy nightclub owner. Yeah. <laughs> There's a really increasing interest in buying second-hand instead of new. The beauty of coming to an op shop is you can just browse amongst shelves and shelves and racks and racks and, you know, a lot of it will be garbage. <laughs> but it's more enjoyable because when you do find the item that you're after, it's more fulfilling than just Googling it and clicking Add to Cart. If you'd asked the general public 10, 15 years ago, do they buy pre-loved product from an op shop, I think a number of people would have been embarrassed to say that they did. I think most people would have been comfortable saying that they donated product to us, but they wouldn't have been comfortable saying that they purchased product from us. Oh, that's so cute. That position has changed dramatically over the last decade. I think now it's a, a bit of a badge of honour to say that you shop at an op shop. And the buttons are really nice on mm. as well. Good morning. Fine. Fine. How are you? Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Guys. What's inside? We have a lot of plates that are tucked in okay. amongst some um, linens. It's so lovely. Just be careful. Thank you very much. You mentioned the charity sector. How important has that sector been in getting those textiles out of landfill? Uh, really pertinent. Number one, the social projects that come off the back of everybody popping into op shops and repurchasing goods. It's the, probably the longest running, I suppose, stewardship scheme, uh, return scheme that we've ever seen, and that plays back to all sorts of goods that we can purchase. The community donates to us, so that's that's our product. They shop with us, they volunteer with us. Hello, drop off. Yeah, come through. What we do is really being a community retailers. So the surplus from our stores actually then goes to support those communities. Thanks for your donation. Thank you. Bye-bye.